Good morning, everybody. It's day 54. Uh, beautiful day, you know, that the Lord has made. And, um, you know, we're just happy to, happy to be alive and just being able to have the privilege and opportunity to come with another video. You know, uh, something that God impressed on my heart to say is that, you know, definitely, you know, as you're, as you're moving in faith and, and moving in deeper realms of faith, it's important for you to understand that in order to do that, you have to dig deeper in your heart. And there's times where you're going to, you know, uncover pain and scars that that you may have known that were there, but you didn't really feel them. You know what I mean? Because you have shut the door on that in your life. And, you know, God is, is telling me today that it's okay. You know, it is okay for you to, you know feel that pain and that in that uh those scars and that hurt uh because it, it, you know when you feel that pain and that's those scars and that hurt god is, is saying that you're confronting that pain you know you're not just shutting the door on it or you're able to go on with your life and ignore that pain you know and that hurt but you're confronting it and in order for you to go in deeper realms of faith to believe God for your family, uh, you know, for those around you and for you to move in him, you have to confront that pain and that hurt. You know, that's important. You know, you know, I know sometimes we, we try to give the the perception to others and to ourselves that, you know, we're good. You know what I mean? And that, you know, you know, we don't really need help. You know, you know, we, we sometimes try and get that perception, but and and sometimes perception is uh, assisted in the fact that we shut the door on our pain. You know, it's like our heart is like a house. You know, you can, you know, your house can be clean in certain areas, but in other areas, it's really messed up. You know, that can be in someone's basement, someone attic. It may not be a place where people see a lot. You know what I mean? But um, you know, as you're going through, you know, your heart and really wanting to clean it out and you want God to move in more in places that you have shut the door on, you're going to have to confront that pain or whatever that hurt or whatever that discomfort is. And it's okay. You know, you, 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 you know, you may also feel like you have, you know, it, you are regressing in the growth that, you know, you've had for maybe the last year. Um, but God said, that's not true. You know, you could, uh, uh, feel this pain, but you know, it could be now something that you're confronting on a higher level. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I think we get a, a sense that, you know, we are to reach some point in time where we don't have to no longer be vulnerable. We no longer have to, you know, confront issues and, and things like that. But you know, we're not just confronting issues within ourselves, okay? We're confronting issues in our bloodline. We're confronting issues in our flesh. I'm saying that things, some things that go back generations. You know, the Bible talks about sometimes you're not even confronting uh, enemies, maybe of this time, you may be confronting enemies uh, that your mother dealt with, your father dealt with, your grandfather dealt with, your great-grandfather. And I believe it's important for us to go as deep as we can within ourselves, within our bloodlines to fight enemies and I have the victory over them. So then our children won't have to fight that enemy, you know, because whatever enemies you don't fight, the enemy, whatever enemies you don't overcome, your children are going to, going to uh, be confronted with and, and they're going to have to make the, the choice to overcome. So, you know, definitely, you know, uh, just, you know, getting, you know, as you're going deeper and, and, and moving forward in faith, you know, it's okay for you to sense that hurt and that pain, you know, knowing that you're hurting on pain, maybe is you really could be on a higher level dealing with that hurt and pain than you were with just ignoring the pain on a lower level. You know, that is growth. You dealing and confronting with things is growth, you know. Um, and then using the word of God and the spirit of God to overcome that hurt and pain. 
Uh, so now God can move you beyond that and now move you into deeper realms. You're moving him more into your life, into your heart. Um, because as you're moving God into your heart, God is going to show you. And see, God, you know, uh, you know, in Jesus, the light, he's the light of the world. So as you're bringing him into your heart, he's shining light on areas where, you know, it, you know, it, it's dark. And he's showing you and saying, no, you got to got to deal with this you got to confront this and we can make a choice of whether just to say jesus i don't want to deal with it, and just shut the door on it and say or you say you know what jesus i, I want to i want you more in my life come on in you know it doesn't feel good to me right now you know to talk about this even with you sometimes we cannot even want to talk about things with jesus talk about this jesus I'm, I'm going to bear the pain for a while until you can show me how to overcome it or I can give it to you or, you know, how, well, you know whatever, you know, some things God wants us to overcome, other, you know, cares and concerns, you know, God is saying cast that on him. So we have to be willing to, you know, do whatever the, the Holy Spirit is leading us to do. So um, that's what I have for right now. I wanted to share that, but... You know, um, you know, you know, don't be ashamed that, you know, you have areas in life you need help, you know, because we all need help in one way or another. So, all right.